Hello friends, in this video, let us see what is the new, one of the new important features that have been added into PHP 7 called as scalar type declarations. Scalar type declaration is also called as type hinting. It basically allows you to specify the data type of a variable especially when you declare a function. Normally when you declare a function and if there are any arguments you just mention the names of the arguments and while calling the function you send as many arguments as, as they are needed by the function. Specifically if the type of data that is to be sent as an argument to the formal argument that you declare inside the function. If the data is not of the desired type then naturally the function will raise an exception. So in order to avoid that, now this PHP 7 version allows you to declare the type of argument as well. So that means if I have a function, some add in which dollar a and dollar b are the two uh, you know arguments and those two arguments are going to be used inside this function now i can specify that i want the value of a and b in form of the integers only so that is called as a type declaration inside a function okay so this is Rather, this type declaration can be done in three different ways. So, these are the declaration techniques. One is none. You assign a value to a variable and PHP will determine what type of data it is depending on the type of operation that is being done. So, that means what? If you are doing A plus B, then PHP will automatically come to know that A and B are numeric. So, you do not specify a particular type declaration to, to the variable that is none. Second is coercive. Coercive means what? You forcefully convert the type of data or data type from one to the other. Rather the PHP engine will do it forcefully for you. For instance, if this function is to be called add, naturally you, normally you will call this function add by giving two integers as the arguments. So naturally 10 will become the value of A, 20 will become the value of B, the addition will be done, no, no, no issues in this case. But if I give this second argument or any of the arguments within inverted commas, naturally 2, 0 is not going to be 20, it is a string. But if you have specified the coercive type of declaration, then this 2, 0 will be converted forcefully into an integer B and then the remaining process will be performed. This is coercive whereas the last type is strict one. That means what? If in this, in this scenario the argument b is integer but the value is sent is 2, 0 in inverted commas. This will not be allowed, this will not be accepted if the type declaration is set to be strict. So you can use a type declar a declaration technique as none, coercive or strict. So, all these techniques of type declaration without any declaration, strict declaration and coercive declaration. Let us see by running an example, I will write more or less the same type of example, change the type of type declaration and run the program and see that the declaration technique can also be used. What is more, the return type also can be declared. Normally in a, pro, in a uh, PHP function you just say return x, x will be returned. What type of data will be returned by that function can also be you know specified in the function declaration. So a scalar type declaration for the arguments as well as the return type is a very important you know deviation from the earlier concept of PHP. PHP is supposed to be a dynamically typed language or typeless language but then here the scalar type declarations provide the declaration of the argument type and the return type. So let us run that example, see that 
the scalar type declarations will come into picture. Bear in mind that this program has to be run on PHP 7. If you try to run it on PHP 5, that will not work. So, keep this in mind. I will show you the example and let us see the, what scalar type declaration does for you. Okay. This example shows you how to use the scalar type declarations in a PHP 7 function. Scalar type declaration is a new feature that is added to PHP in its PHP 7 version. So, using this feature, you can actually declare the data type of the formal arguments to a, to a particular function. For example, here I have declared a function called as average, which is designed to calculate the average of two arguments that are sent to it by the calling environment. So, the first value, first argument will become x, second value will become y and it will calculate the you know average and return. But I want to ensure that these two arguments are integer. So, therefore, in uh, to, pr to prefix the two arguments, I have used integer int $x and int $y. So, that will ensure that the two variables or two arguments that this x and y receive, they will be integer. So, also, I also, I also have you know, specified what is the return type of the return value of the function. So, that is defined by this int which is given after the name of the function give a colon and specify the return type and then the body of the function will be written. Okay, so, these are the scalar type declarations of the arguments and this is the scalar type declaration of the return value. So, the execution is simple just call the average function giving the two uh, you know values they will be picked up by x and y and then the value will be returned the, the average will be returned. So, this is fairly straightforward as it was in case of the PHP 5. So, let me just execute this function and verify it. Okay. So, I am just uh, starting the program by giving the URL in the browser scalar type dot PHP average is equal to 15. So, this is as per expectation. What we shall see is how the PHP program will behave if the data types are not integer. So, for example, out of these 10, 20, 120 if I make, make a, uh, as a string, then what happens? So, here what I have done, I have given the two arguments to this average function as one is 10 integer, the other is 2, 0, it is not 20. So, when this function is executed, how does the scalar type declaration have an effect on the actual execution? Now, this scalar type declaration is implemented in two ways. One is called as the coercive mode and the other is called as the strict mode. So, the coercion means what? This 2, 0 will be automatically converted into a corresponding integer value by the PHP engine. So, therefore, even if the string, this is a string, inverted comma means it is a string, but it because it contains a digit characters, 2, 0 will be converted into 20, they will be given to the y variable and the Result, result will be the return value which is equal to 15 as was the case earlier. So, even if I make it as within inverted commas to 0, I will going, I am going to get the same result. Let us see. So, even after changing the second argument to string, the same result is displayed. So, that is called as a coercive mode of scalar type declaration. In order to you know enforce the strict adherence to the data types of the arguments in the function and the values that are sent to it, you have to start your PHP script by this statement declare 
strict types is equal to 1. So, which means that now the PHP interpreter or PHP engine will see to it that the data types of the formal arguments and the data types of the formal arguments are same. If they are not same, then it will raise an exception. Okay, so, now that the scalar type is equal to 1 has been declared and then if I try to send 10 and within inverted commas 20, then the automatic conversion of 20 to y, string 20 to integer y will not take place and therefore, you, are, you expect when you execute this program, you expect a certain error or exception to generate on your browser. So, let us see. So, I am giving, I am executing the same script. Now, you see there is a fatal error, uncaught type error. Argument 2 passed to the average function must be of the type integer, but you have given string. So, it is now enforcing a strict type, you know, similarity because of the declared script type, uh, strict types is equal to one statement at the beginning. Okay. So, if I again back to the go back to the code and change that inverted comma 202 back to 20, now the program will behave properly. Change it to normal 20 instead of the string 20 and uh, re execute the script, you should get average is equal to 15. Now, this scalar type enforcement either in the coercive way or in the strict mode can also be applied to the return value also. So, if I now, now change this uh, formula of calculation of value to something like this. So, what happens? The division of this x plus y divided by a certain float value will be a float. That means, this value variable will contain a certain float, but you are mentioning that the return value of this function is an integer. And now that the declaration of strict types is you know enabled, declare strict types is equal to 1, this will not be allowed. Why? Because the function returns a value which is not integer. So, therefore, when you try to execute this, it will again give a fatal error saying that the integer value or the return value of the function is not integer. Okay, so, let us now again run the program. So, with the changes in the return value type, if I try to run, again it is giving an uncaught, uh, uncaught type error. Return value of the integer uh, average function must be integer. It is returning a float and that is not allowed. So, that is how the scalar type declaration can be coercively enforced or strictly enforced.